targeted ads, identity theft, and a chaotic pandemic. This and other ways movies predicted America's future. Welcome to America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. You know, movies have given us a lot of false hope for the future. Thanks to Hollywood's lies, I wake up every morning disappointed I still don't have a hoverboard. And no, this doesn't count. This is not a hoverboard. It's a Segway with nothing to hold on to. Calling this a hoverboard is like calling a pug a wolf. Will the future ever deliver on any of Hollywood's empty promises? Heck, I'd even settle for the three seashells from Demolition Man. Although I guess empty promises aren't the worst thing to come out of Hollywood. But as many misses as there have been, there are occasionally movies that have correctly predicted things that were coming down the pike. Here are 10 movies that correctly predicted parts of America's future. Number 10. Network is a 1976 film that follows newscaster Howard Beale as he's forced to deal with and benefits from and is ultimately destroyed by the news industry. Network shows a world where corporate news media companies chase ratings through sensationalism and outright fake news. Corporate news media? Sensationalist headlines? Fake news? Was this a prediction or a blueprint of the future? If you want more proof that media companies may have modeled their businesses off the movie Network, Howard Beale had his own show where he ranted about issues he said were destroying the country and whipped his viewers into a frenzy. Remind you of anyone? That's not a coincidence, it's by design. If only news channel hosts modeled themselves after Mr. Rogers instead, then we can take all the horrible things that happen each day and relegate them to the neighborhood of make-believe. Number nine. The Mad Max series is set in an apocalyptic wasteland where much of the Earth has been reduced to a dust bowl. If you're thinking this level of water scarcity is far-fetched, apparently it isn't. NASA's water expert says this could be the very near future, at least in California. This is because California and much of the Southwest are in an intense drought, and officials are ordering citizens and businesses to cut down on water to avoid the Mad Max future becoming the Mad Max present. These films even predicted that warlords would commit crimes against humanity by stealing and hoarding water for their own gain. This has also come to pass. Only instead of it being Immortan Joe, it's Nestle. The only thing Mad Max predicted wrong was there would be a nuclear war that caused a lack of water. Instead, it's mainly good old-fashioned political corruption and poor resource management. Also, instead of people fighting for gas, Californians are fighting over charging stations for their Teslas. Number eight. Soylent Green came out in 1973 and takes place in 2022. So, how close did this film get to predicting the future? Well, they theorized that overpopulation and climate change would lead to food scarcity, and to combat this, a meat substitute made out of soy and lentils would be unveiled. Yep, that's a bingo. The only difference is that in the movie, the meat substitute was actually made out of people, which sounds horrible, until you see that the Impossible Whopper costs a dollar more than the regular Whopper. If I'm gonna be spending extra money, I'd better be getting more than just soy and lentils. Or after the break. Welcome back. Number seven. 2002's Minority Report got a lot right about the future. It predicted swiping technology, but more importantly, it predicted pre-crime. In the movie, psychics known as precogs predict the future and stop violent crime before it happened. And wouldn't you know it, Government agencies say they can do the same thing if we allow them to spy on us. They say part of their job is to stop crimes and arrest people before they've done anything. Although their track record isn't that great, turns out they're not actually psychic. Minority Report also predicted we'd be seeing targeted ads. You may have just seen one during the ad break, assuming this video wasn't demonetized. Although instead of only seeing ads out in public thanks to social media, you get targeted ads in your own home, all day, every day. And of course, the most notable aspect about the future Minority Report predicted was that Tom Cruise would be seen as a menace to society. Number six. Robocop came out in 1987, 
The story is set in 2028 Detroit, which had become a dystopian wasteland. Looks like the real Detroit got a head start on that one. Robocop also predicted that in the future, a megacorporation would try to open their own private, corporately run city that would turn into a nightmare. Did that actually happen? What kind of evil corporation in the real world would try something like that, complete with their own private police force? Why, none other than Disney. Robocop is so close to becoming nonfiction, all it needs is Robocop wearing Mickey ears. I'd buy that for a dollar. Number five. The 1987 movie Running Man takes place in the faraway future of 2019. This flick correctly guessed that violent entertainment will get massive ratings. It even predicted a version of deepfake technology, which is used to frame the main character, Ben Richards. But the most impressive thing this movie guessed is that in 2019, Arnold Schwarzenegger would be in a bitter rivalry with a powerful game show host. Seriously, they were right on the money with this one. Number four. The 1995 Sandra Bullock movie The Net seems kind of cheesy and outdated today due to all the advancements in computer technology. Also because it's called The Net. No one calls the internet that. It's like calling pizza za. If you do, you're obviously a cop pretending to be a high schooler. But here's what The Net got right. Sandra Bullock's character almost never leaves her home, barely interacts with her neighbors, and works entirely through the internet. Hello, last two years. Funny enough, while that sounds like a sad existence, it's one a lot of workers are fighting to keep. The Net also features Sandra Bullock's character having her identity stolen. At the time, that was scary because it wasn't something anyone really understood. Sadly, identity theft is all too common these days. In fact, it's so common, there are even marketplaces for it. So when Hollywood isn't giving us false hope for the future, they're giving ideas to criminals. Great. And even worse, they're giving advertisers ideas. Aren't advertisers the worst? Besides ours, of course. Enjoy them during this break. Welcome back. Number three. Starship Troopers came out in 1997, based on a book from the 1950s. It predicted that propaganda would be used to rally civilians to go to war in a desert region against enemies that overwhelm us with guerrilla tactics. And it turns out, the government's excuse for this prolonged war was nonsense, and it was really just about obtaining resources. Uh, yikes. Also, the all-gender bathroom in the shower scene isn't that far off either. Number two. Remember the 2011 movie Contagion? Where do I even start? This movie gained renewed interest in 2020. Gee, I wonder why. Contagion features a worldwide pandemic and how the government and citizens reacted to it. Politicians were initially hesitant to fully commit resources to fighting the virus, believing it wouldn't be that severe and it would be over soon. Then citizens began panic buying as they were told to quarantine. The CDC determined the novel virus, which was spread by respiratory droplets, may have partially come from a bat. Conspiracy theorists spread fake information and fake cures to make themselves money. And everyone was desperate to get the vaccine as soon as pos- Oh wait, I thought Contagion may have predicted the future for a second there. Turns out it had no idea what it was talking about. Everyone desperate to get their hands on a vaccine? <laughs> Stupid movie. Number one. Several movies have predicted technology that would be used in the future. Dick Tracy showed us a smartwatch. Fun. Terminator showed us flying murder drones. Uh, less fun. But no prediction about future technology in a movie may have been more accurate than 1996's The Cable Guy. Yes, seriously. In it, the titular Cable Guy says, the future is now. Soon every American home will integrate their television, phone, and computer. You'll be able to visit the Louvre on one channel and watch female mud wrestling on another. You can do your shopping at home or play Mortal Kombat with your friend in Vietnam. Did a movie starring Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber and directed by Zoolander predict smartphones? Smartphone technology has become the centerpiece of our lives today, but back in 1996, people just assumed Jim Carrey was talking out of his backside when he predicted this. You can't blame people for thinking that though, since Talking out of his backside is what Jim Carrey was known for. So what do you think? What are some other movies that predicted America's future? Leave your comments below. And remember, America Uncovered is supported mainly by viewers. Be sure to visit patreon.com slash America Uncovered. 
Contribute a dollar or more per episode. We rely on your support to help us keep making great episodes. Or join our exclusive censorship-free social media community on Locals. Check out americauncovered.locals.com. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.